Well, here we are again. More videos with more people cutting grass in the background. Always, always, always. All right, so, um, since I've got all this tore apart right now, doing the insulation, you'll see that on a different video, insulation video, um, I decided to upgrade my electrical. And what I mean by upgrade is I'm gonna go ahead and put a breaker box in, I'm gonna put two separate breakers, and I'm gonna add another outlet to the outside for a plug-in. So I can have just 15 or 20 amps is one, and then if I can plug in a second plug-in, because my plan is to run two air conditioners, one on the back side, and I'm thinking about putting one at the front, but that'll be a different video as well. So, anywho, let's get started. Now, what I did was, the cable that goes to my first outlet, I was going to upgrade it to 14 gauge, or 10 gauge, because I bought some 10 gauge. It's 12 gauge, but to such a short distance, I don't think it's going to matter. Um, and then I didn't want to take that off, so I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm going to put this breaker panel in back here, drill some holes for it, and put in a second outlet. Okay, now that we got it mounted to the wood, we can go ahead and fish our wires in here. Okay, now that my battery's back and charged, stupid GoPro. Um, where'd my screwdriver go? All right, so I got the wire up in here. Got it flipped around, so I'm gonna connect this back up. second outlet in. Good thing with the paneling peel back on the inside, I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. Right. I don't know if 10 gauge is going to be better than 20 gauge with such a two foot run, but why the heck not? Yes sir? Oh yeah. All right, just like in the other video, what I want to do is bend these up and tape it up so there's no shorts or possibility of shorting out or any of that stuff. So what I'm going to do is take these screws and back them out just so it's easier. those days you wish you had two or three extra hands. Oh, let's silicone it. Yeah. 
to the silicone, even if the screws get a little loose from vibrating, the silicone will hold it in place, just like it's holding this side in place as well. And it'll also seal it up. So I'll let this dry, and then we'll come back and spray paint it black to match. And I bought shiny, I bought glossy black, uh, black instead of flat black like this, so I'm going to touch this up as well. I'm thinking of putting a second air conditioner on this side, the smaller one that I have, up high, blowing this way. Um, not only would it cool you at night, but it would help cool the top air while this one's cooling the lower part. And to do that, I'm going to need a power over there. Well, I could run power across the top, but there's going to be a hole right here anyway to where the two pieces of metal, or uh, two pieces of wood meet. And then the strip goes over it. So I'm thinking I'm just going to run it across the top here. And why not use 10 gauge? have an outlet down on that end power air conditioner whatever I need I want I've still got this um, power cord that's been ran over for this light and we can plug our cell phones in and put them in this basket to charge that wire is ran over and down and is now coming out of a hole where I can just plug it in so that way it's fished down the wall so the only other thing that I know of is left to do is to get um, I still got to wire up that light that I took down So what I'll do is I'll get another piece of wire. I got some uh, the yellow 12 gauge I'll get another piece of wire drop it out of the uh, breaker panel Ring it up uh, pull it up and pull over here and leave enough slack to go wherever I need insulate finish insulating this and uh, Put it all back together Stay tuned. I think I'm good doing it right here. That's not good. Well, you should always be careful when you're drilling. Ouch. Coming up in the next video, I'll show you how to repair your trailer when you screw up. Since I'm going to have an outlet here and I don't want nothing shortened out on the back side and somebody drilled a hole all the way through the freaking metal what I'm going to do is I cut me a piece of plastic this is off like a tote lid or something like that I'm going to put it up here behind the hole here I'm going to put it in place and get some of this excess metal out of the way and I'm going to um, get it real smooth and then I'm going to silicone it in place This side's textured, it'll probably hold the silicone better. So I'm going to go all the way around the hole with some silicone. Just get the fuck out of the way. Kind of smush it in and wiggle it around until it's in place. Put this stupid insulation back up. Now what I don't want to do is I don't want to push in right now while that silicone is drying. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and squirt a little bit of silicone in here. Okay. And gently rub it around try to smooth it just a little bit and we'll let that dry and then we'll come back once it's dried and see if we need to put some more on there then we'll paint it